like to request Mr. Senator Genino to speak few words on today's evening. I heard the instructions, a few words, not a long speech. Tashi Dele. First, first of all, those of you who have known me for a while are seeing a different uh, face. So, when I walked up, Poon Sung says, are you becoming a monk? <laughs> you know, Poon Sung, maybe that's not a bad idea. <laughs> I'm obviously uh, very pleased to be here and to add a few words to this cause and to what you're doing today. Uh, Peggy was very eloquent. Uh, Norbu obviously covered uh, everything pretty well. Uh, my uh, uh, reason for being here today, and unfortunately I cannot walk with you, I am preparing to go on my own walk. On Monday I am leaving for Spain to do uh, a 900 kilometer walk called the Camino de Santiago de Compostela. And this is why I uh, have decided to uh, give myself a new look. So um, I have a couple of rather busy days, but I'm delighted to be here, even uh, at just at the opening uh, of, of this event, and uh, to A, give you my support, uh, hopefully continue to do that, even though I'm not uh, in the Senate any longer. As most of you know, I actually retired from the Senate uh, the 30th of June. But uh, most importantly, I'm here to applaud you, to congratulate you, to thank you, because what you're doing is critically important. We've said for many years, we must never let the flame die. Well, today it's even more special because it's called the flame of truth. So to be there, to let the world know, as other countries are, are doing, and to let Canadians know, to let the Chinese community here know, that Tibetans will never stop fighting for their country, for justice, for freedom. And as I applaud you for that. Please give yourself a hand. I mean, it's for me. It's, um, it's, it's uh, critical. I know that sometimes it's frustrating. I know that sometimes it's very discouraging. But I, uh, as you know, we had a, a major event with the, uh, the Dalai Lama and many of the t members of the Tibetan government in exile in Ottawa in April. I think there is some light at the end of the tunnel. There are changes taking place in China, but they will only continue to take place if the pressure it continues to be put on them to say that Tibetans, like every other human being in the world, needs freedom, needs justice, needs peace. So to you, thank you. Keep, keep it up. And as Peggy says, we will be there for you. Pugiano. Thank you, Senator, for your support. When we are really in need, and also we hope, like you said, that we will definitely see the light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you.